We're recording this in here. Look at that uh, pad. What? iPad. Make sure that we got a signal here. Yep. All right. Hold that open there. I still don't hear you. I'm not sure if you got the mic turned. I mean, now I can. I'm breaking up a little bit. I'm not sure what's on or what's off. Okay, now watch your knees. There you go. We might have some bumps because of these uh, clouds here. If you feel like you're sick or anything, just let me know. Okay. I go back. I've never felt this before. This is oh, kind of scary, actually. <laughs> I've been in planes is bigger than this. Oh. What one seven two? Two one four wind approach for wind altimeter three zero four nine or squawk four three five three. Killer one squawk and four three five three. Niner, Niner, Delta Kilo, four wind approach, four wind altimeter, three zero four Niner. Four wind approach, Killer One request. And Killer One, uh, say request. Killer One request, visual straight in five, with chase, one up, one down. Killer One, Roger, I have your request, say again your position. One three zero miles west southwest of Fort Wayne. Sandy, Sandy we're flying with you. Nope. Kill one, make straight in runway five. You will. Kill flight straight in runway yeah. five. Thanks, you will. Uh, Swine one, heard. hold on. Swine one, contact tower. Swine one, switching today. Get it uh, trimmed out here. All right. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to call. Trailer one, confirm your flight at two. Okay, from California two. Wait, hold on. Fort Wayne approach, uh, Cessna 2128 Echo. November 2128 Echo, Fort Wayne approach, Squawk 4647. Squawk 4647. All right, that's so he can see me now. Gonna that guide you that direction then? What happened? Hold on just a second. 
Uh, Zanesville is your town, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, actually, I want to go down a little bit. Fort Wayne approach, Cherokee Niner. We're at nine or five, nine or four whiskey. Four wind approach, four wind altimeter three zero five zero, say altitude. Three zero five zero uh, altitude uh, three five hundred. Once we get everything done with him, then we can talk. But okay, that's fine. Because we have these scattered clouds, it's going to make it a little more bumpy than normal. Okay. November 28, Echo, safe position. Uh, we are about uh, five miles to the north of uh, Smithfield, uh, planning to go over to Zanesville and back. November 28, Echo, Squawk 4647. We have 4647 on the squawker. Or, uh, two eight echo verify your transponder is on. I'm sorry for that. It is on now for two one two eight echo. Number two eight echo radar contact five miles northeast of the Smithfield right, Airport. Four way altimeter three zero five zero altitude indicates three thousand one hundred. Roger on the uh, altimeter. Number 28 Echo, say aircraft type. Uh, we'd like to fly uh, over the uh, field, uh, over to Zanesville, and then back to Auburn. Number 28 Echo, roger, and say aircraft type. My apologies, it's a Cessna 172. So I think we're about done with him. So that's Smithfield. Okay. You can see downtown, we're getting ready. Right, right. So uh, the hospital, park view's right there. Yeah. Ton, tons of lakes out here. Yeah. How's that? That give you the, that's your number then? That's so he can see me on his radar. Okay. He, he knows which plane I am. Okay, all right. This, these things here would be things that would help us go. November 28 Echo, so you're on course heading to Zanesville. On course for Zanesville, 2128 Echo. So, uh, How high, how high are we now? Oh. We're at 3,000 feet of sea level, okay. but the the ground level no, is... Over at 28 Echo, can you uh, climb to VFR 3,500? 3,500 for Cessna 2128 Echo. Four-lane approach, so we... killer flight is uh, 12 miles straight in field in sight. Killer 1, contact tower. Switch to tower, killer He wants us to go a little higher. Okay. Runway departure, good afternoon, Legion 1661, 2700 for 4000, runway heading. Legion 1661, four-way departure, radar contact, turn right, direct Ryan's on course, maintain 6000. Right turn, direct Ryan's on course, 6000, Legion 1661. This big Smith field is small. Big. All right. Everything looks small up here. Yeah. It's you can see for a long ways. It was a good clear day. You can see the uh, windmills uh, over in Van Wert. Oh, really? So there's the. Air, or uh, Fort Wayne Airport. Airfield, yeah. Dude, if you can see Bear Field, we're about 
And south of that. Doesn't take long. Nope. So we are doing, well, let's see, 97 knots, which would be about 110 okay. miles per hour. This is not the fastest 172. Legion 1661, climb maintain 10,000. Doing all right. Yeah. 1661. Here's our heater, which we're doing okay. Yeah. This is a new experience. I mean, I, I, I'm a little claustrophobic, and I'm a, I don't feel really safe or whatever, but it's just really it's cool, though. <laughs> I wish I could say, this is great, let's do it. I, I'm not going to have to show Sandy that video, at least of that comment. <laughs> Some days uh, it, it's just perfectly calm, right? And that is really fun. We'll do a Plymouth trip with Dan, though. We'll call Dan and go on a div trip. Go on a div trip with uh, guys play golf. Oh, really? Mark Watts, Bruce Hardy. 1661, contact Chicago Center. One one nine or point eight five. Dan Voris and Spelman. Eighty five, we just sixteen sixty one. Now, if that thing starts. We have to just speak, stop for just a second to make sure he doesn't call my number, right, right. tell me something that I should be doing. Okay. Wow. Jefferson Point. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. Now, if we were above those clouds, it would be calm. Okay. Well, all, all the ground is heating up, lifting, and creating these clouds, the warm air. That's what causes these bumps. Oh, how high do you get, though? What's the highest you've been in? I've only been as high as 5,500. Okay. But, you know, people go 10,000. Oh, yeah. 12. Zero Tango Kilo traffic, 11 o'clock, two miles circling type altitude unknown. He's not talking to me. We're looking, Zero Tango Kilo. We're high enough that if anybody was coming in, you'd see them. They would be under, right. be under us. Here's that gravel pit. You won't see it on your side, but maybe on the way back you'll see it. Uh, yep. I see, I see a part of it over here. See what? I see a part of it over here. See, they, they've got an old one over there. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, you can see the... Uh, Number zero, Tango Kilo traffic, no factor. There's a landfill right here. Roger. Never saw them. Zero Tango Kilo. Debbie plant. Yep. Well, there's the uh, Brook, uh, what golf course? Brookside? Is yeah. Wow, they must be replacing a runway there. 
track 28 Echo, what is the three letter identifier for Zanesville? We're actually just flying over this uh, little town there and then heading back. It's about. It's just about 10 miles uh, just to the south of the field here at, for 2128 Echo. Skyrock 28 Echo, roger, thanks. Hi Highway 3 right here. Okay. So are we on uh, course? I think so, yeah, I'm talking about bearings here. 59. Clouds are going to get a little lower. Or November 8 Kilo Yankee contact Toledo approach 134.35. 134.35. Cessna 2128 Echo uh, requests a little lower altitude to stay out of these clouds. Sky 28 Echo maintain VFR altitude at your discretion. Altitude at our discretion 2128 Echo. We're going to go down some. Yeah. This is 469 right here, crossing. So is this Zanesville right here? No, no, it's not Zanesville. Uh, uh, well, might be, yeah. We're getting real close. Yeah, to your yeah, 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 it is Zanesville. That snuck up on us. That road to go straight right there. Yeah. Take it, follow that road if you can. That's that's 303, and we were just off of that. Perfect. Yeah, I've got you marked on here. Okay. Uh, Good morning, Grissom Approach. Meridian 40. Mike Alpha's with you out of 16.7 for 1111,000. Yeah, Zanesville, you can take Highway 3 or, 3 or, or 303. We're 40, Mike Alpha. For when approach, we're going to be right here, right? Oh, we'll be on the other side. Okay, we're, we're on the Mike right side of that straight road. Just off of it, back up. Wayne, sure, you know, quarter mile. One, four, Mike, 5,000. Good morning. For zero, Tango Kilo, does it maintain 4,000? See it right now. Can you? Yeah. Mike, got a good course here? Um, yeah. Sorry, you're you're my window. 4, does it maintain 4,000? Roger, 4,000, zero, Tango Kilo. I was looking out there, and it's like right in front of us. Yeah. For zero Tango Kilo traffic, one o'clock, nine or miles, a BE24 at 6,000. And we're looking, zero Tango Kilo. I don't see you. Um, looking for oh, there it is. Yeah, Mickey Mouse Pond. Zero, zero Tango Kilo, expedite your descent through 5,000. Expedite through five, zero Tango Kilo. Four Wayne Cherokee, November 814, Mike, 5000. Number 814, Mike, four Wayne approach, four Wayne altimeter, 3049er. 3049 Three Tell me when I'm. I'm going to do a terrible job with this. Right on top of it, right? 49 or Delta Kilo traffic, 11 right o'clock. Five miles Good. northwest bound, descending through 5,400. Right. I don't know if it came out or not. You know, I take right, pictures. Cool Pretty cool, though. Did it come out? Oh, uh, no. Dead. <laughs>
We're going to be right on top of it over here. Yep, two barns, right, back-to-back -back barns. That's where we're at, white, white top barns. Yep. A big pond. Fort Wayne approach, 059 or 0, pop uniform with these 6,500. Number 580, pop uniform, Fort Wayne approach, Fort Wayne altimeter 3050. 3050 zero, zero. Zero, and uh, just clarify, 590 or 0, pop uniform. Your side again. Or 590 or 0, pop uniform, roger. I can't, I can't get the angle. Okay. I actually enjoy more looking at what's going on than I do trying to judge that camera. I can't even see the house then. I would, I would never be a pilot. There's already too many details already for me. But uh, this is pretty cool. Fort Wayne approach Cessna 2128 Echo is returning back to Albury. 2128 Echo, Roger. what John Hobbaker did. John Hobbaker, John Hobbaker was a uh, air traffic controller. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's uh, Tanya's son, or brother, brother, brother -in -law. yeah. Had to go down. All right, we'll go closer to downtown this time. Cool. We're in Zero Mike Alpha, just to maintain 8,000. Okay, down to 8,000 for Zero Mike Alpha. Mark, this has to be down, doesn't it? Uh huh. <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh, I haven't lost anyone yet. I don't want you to be the first. No. Yeah, these clouds are kind of sneaking up over us Yeah. Here. Really dropped down here a little bit. Yeah. So there's the tower of the airport. Right. Be able to watch us. There's a plane on the uh, taxiway there. Uh... Not sure if he just landed or if he's not moving, just sitting there. Yeah. Now he's moving. Wonder if he's waiting for us. I have uh, my last flight to uh, Grand Rapids. I had to hold short. Uh, Fort Wayne, Cirrus 120, uh, one Tango, Kilo, Kilo, And then I had the... Cirrus, Cirrus, Tango, Kilo, just to maintain 3,000. I had a Southwest jet 3, Zero, Tango, Kilo. on the uh, taxiway, and I was on the uh, taxiway, and I had to go in behind him. <laughs> it was kind of cool. Yeah. Big, big guy, and you're like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm in this little thing. They fly southwest out of Grand Rapids? Yeah, they it must have. Oh, wow. They had a southwest there. We'll go over uh, the uh, Tin Caps Stadium. That's cool. Kinda cool. Cool. First game's on Thursday. Karen, Karen even has an interest. She said that we ought to start going to these games more often. Since it's just her and me, we're trying to figure out things we can do. Right. That I like and tolerate or vice versa. Well, let's hope it's a little warmer than I know. now. Yeah, we're not going on Thursday. Oh, yeah, they tore that all out of there. Yeah. Replacing
cold. Yeah. There. Pull the heat on there. That's the top is the heat. Okay. And the bottom is the uh, air. Okay. I can feel it now. That's too bad we won't see that jet go off beside us. How many hours you have in already flying? Uh, counting the first time, 25 years ago, <laughs> I probably have about 115. Would you fly more if you had your own plane? Four way and approach control says the 906 November uniform. I, I would. I would. The 906 November uniform for Wayne. Yeah, about 20 miles, 25 miles to the left. The want to transition your airspace at 50 miles on the way down to Binghamton. In the evening, it gets really calm. You know, all the stuff is... Six of every uniform squad, four, six, four, zero. Off. You could fly and, and um, just land your plane and go on home then? If you, I mean, just keep your plane at the airport then? Well, you'd have a hangar. You okay. Four, six, five, zero you for November hangar. uniform. And I've been having a problem with the transponder. Let me know how, you, how it breathes. December 9, Delta Kilo, contact Grissom Approach, 121.05. Good day. All right, where's the stadium? 121.05, Matter Delta Kilo. Uh, okay. Just got to get closer to downtown. Yeah. I see a stadium. About uh, 1 o'clock. All right. This should take a good spot. Well, maybe it is. That's maybe the Coliseum. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's a big building out there. Maybe it's not the stadium. Downtown. No, oh, uh, yeah, it's it's closer. Yeah, I okay. see. Yeah. Zero Tango Kilo, contact South Bend Approach, 132.05. Good day. 132.05, Zero Tango Kilo. Cessna 6, November uniform, radar contact 30 miles east, I'm sorry, and west of Fort Wayne Airport. Fort Wayne Elton with 3050, and uh, showing the mode C kind of all over the place. So last indicated altitude is 9,600. Uh, it's still showing you as high as the flight level uh, 210. Okay, over. I'm at 50, 56. Big uh, parking lot. The, uh, the heat comes uh, off still, that. Still okay. Really? Okay. Okay. Great just north uh, of the airport there. Six hundred meters from my front. We begin transition my airspace. Uh, just maintain VFR at 5500. If you need any other altitude, just advise. Okay, just confirm. You spot. guys are 2600 right. scattered. Are you going to be able to see it? Good. Okay, I'm showing the uh, ceiling of Fort Wayne uh, scattered 2800 currently. Yeah, right, right on top. Of okay, yeah, it's just right here. Thick overcast right where I am now. I'm only two miles there. All right, very good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, we should buy a condo out there in, le in left field. And she goes, why would you do that? I said, you can watch all these ball games. I said, there's all that noise and fireworks every night. Turn the altitude off. Do you have a solid reading on me now? These are the things you do when you're 45 years of age. You're going to be in Single. business. Single. No, no, you're going to be in business for 20 years. You buy the thing and just make it a, make it a, a, a sweep. Six-year-old meeting. So I'm showing a hit, but uh, negative on the mode C. Go watch the okay, ball game out good. there from left field. That's what it's going to be. Thank you. No problem. Fort Wayne Approach, solo student pilot, November 783, Bravo Golf, is at 3,150. Cessna 783, Bravo Golf, Fort Wayne Approach, Fort Wayne Altimeter 3050. Fort Wayne Altimeter 3050, 783, Bravo Golf. Zero pop uniform not receiving the uh, mode C. Report any altitude changes. Uh, just verify you're still at 6,500. Affirmative still at 6,500. I'll let you know if I change altitude at all. Forward approach over 73 Bravo Golf. This is Quick definitely more bumpy than. I normally want to take people up on a uh, Bravo Golf, uh, much uh, smoother day. Oh, this isn't bad though. I mean, VFR, but I can see the big, big difference if you go out in Arizona. Arizona, you got a whole, a whole different environment out there. The best days for flying are actually when it's totally overcast. It's not as good scene-wise, 
but the air will be a lot calmer okay. and steady. All right, so, oh, there's Best Buy, yeah. As you were planning to fly down to Corey's wedding a couple of years ago, but the pilot was going to take us down. Yeah. Couldn't do it with the, they were calling for the weather. He was, and he's like you, he could do it visual, but no instruments. Right, right. The instrument trained. Right. He was his own airplane, though. Yep. Go back every couple of years and spend ten thousand dollars to rebuild the engine, anyhow. No, not every couple of years. It, well, it, it takes. Uh, it seems like it. it seems like I'm getting a phone call every every couple of years. He's called me. Oh, Chuck, I got to rebuild my engine. Your your engine needs an overhaul every two thousand hours. Oh, okay, like, that's huge. Yeah. So if you're if you're flying fifty once, hours a a year, a hundred hours a year, it's twenty years. Okay. Who pays for that? Who pays for Who pays for that? Really? Yeah. It, it's good for business? Yeah. you got your rent, your space for your planes and all that stuff anyhow, too, so. What's this? That's my talk button. Okay. Talking to the tower or anything, I hit hit that button first. Uh, and here's uh, Park View again. Yep. Ton of houses, but. I that's why the many lakes there were. Yeah. Uh, every addition's got their own lake. Yeah, just retention ponds and yeah, everything. Yeah, but, but they're big lakes. Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill should be out here somewhere. Yeah. Golf course. And lakes. Right here. Well. It might. I don't know. But when you first come up to fly, you get so, like she'd say, okay. 4775, contact Chicago Center, one one Where's the airport? Eight five. Good day. Mike. 1985. I don't know. <laughs> well, follow the highway. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'd forgotten how close you guys were from Parkview to, to your exit. Yeah. It's like eight or ten miles. Yeah. You're, you're, you're as close to Fort Wayne as we are, just on the other side. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we'll start dropping a little altitude here. Is your mic alpha contact south and approach 132.05 to maintain 4,000? Uh, looking for lower, ma'am. I'll tell you what. Is your mic alpha to maintain 4,000? The auction building up there, the white building, the auction building. Okay, down to 4,000. Yeah. Uh, it's zero point. Can I get that? Yeah, it's, again, it's on Here's 69, 1, right, 3, 2, on this 0, side. 5, 32, okay. 05. All right, 32, 32, 05, you're my we're, we're getting close to the airport already. Yeah. So we've been up for... Um, About four, half an hour, 40, 40 minutes? Yeah. So by the time we land and get it turned off, it'd be about an hour. Yeah. We'll go get a bite. Yep. I can fly you over something. You brought That's your parachute, right? Echo, <laughs> Coleman Airport, 12 o'clock, 5 miles. Winter service are terminated. I couldn't get out of the plane, okay? I'm worried about getting out of the plane just after you land. I'm going to switch here. Hold on. Fort Wayne Approach, Cessna 21288. Echo has the airport in sight. Cessna 28 Echo, radar services are terminated. Squawk VFR. Free change approved, no traffic observed. Thank you for your help. All right. So, so, so 
are you now connecting to the um, uh, the Cal Bear port? Yeah, I'm switching frequency here. Okay. DeGalb County, Auburn traffic, Cessna 2128 echoes about five miles to the north uh, inbound, or excuse me, five miles to the south inbound for uh, runway nine, planning to cross midfield for the downwind. DeGalb County, Auburn traffic. It hasn't changed. Zulu weather, wind zero seven zero at six, visibility one zero. Eight six one zero hotel is eight to the north, uh, inbound for. They're entering to enter right downwind for runway one zero. Downwind Ben Harbor. All right, so nobody's uh, out here, it sounds like. Across midfield. Is that your house? No. That's a huge <laughs> house. Yeah. That's Mitchell Cruz, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Huge house. All right, nobody out here. Ben Harbor traffic there is 861. Sierra Hotel is five miles to the northeast. Our house Coming is in to enter a left downwind for runway 10. Ben Harbor traffic. See that group of uh, houses over there? Yeah. We're just to the right of it. Okay. Dickup County, Albert traffic, Cessna 2128 Echo is crossing midfield for a left downwind for runway 9, Dickup County, Albert traffic. Okay, now I need you to watch your knees. Okay. And... When we're talking. DeKalb County, Albert traffic, Cessna 2128 Echo, turning left base for runway 9. DeKalb County, Albert traffic. DeKalb County, Albert traffic, Cessna 2128, Echo turning final for runway 9, DeKalb County.
Not a very good one there. Hey, I'm oh. happy. I'm happy we're down. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't my best. I'd like to. Well, your the wind was. Your it was turning me a little bit, and then, then I lost my. Uh, I shouldn't have probably put in so much. Uh, um, laps. It's so hard. You're. You're. It's like you're going to stall. Yeah. You're, you're like hanging there. Okay. But you wanted land with uh, as little speed and. I, I, yeah, I believe you. I just the fact yeah. that after flying 100 miles an hour, then yeah. you're kind of like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> a little, little more. The Galp County Auburn traffic, Cessna 2128 Echoes, cleared other way. Yeah, ideally, you, you want to stall second before you land, <laughs> and then you're 